This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. It's a battle of unbeaten teams in week three of District 10 football. Caden Henry and the St. James Lions facing Cole Phillips and the Bishop McDonnell Celtics. And this game living up to the pregame hype. It was a thriller at Alumni Stadium. Opening quarter, this is Cole Phillips rolling to his left. He flips it to Ryan Wolf, who takes the ball into the red zone. The Celtics driving on their first possession. And on the very next play, it's Cole Phillips calling his own number. He takes off in the QB keeper, and how about this? Phillips is going to score. He takes it 16 yards to the end zone. BM taking a 7-0 lead. St. James now with the ball. It's a trick play, and look out! Marco Piccioni forcing a fumble. The ball bounces back to Piccioni. He's got a scoop, and he's got a score. MP40 takes it to the end zone. What a crazy play. The Celtics with a 14-point lead, five minutes into the game. Second quarter, Cole Phillips is back to pass. He finds Philip Oates, who is drilled by Braden Dixon. Big hit there. Oates would be okay. And a few plays later, this is Phillips looking for Oates. He turns, dives, and makes the catch for a touchdown. Outstanding from Oates. Bishop Mack looking good with a 21-0 lead. But the Lions answer a few minutes later. Caden Henry firing to the end zone. Evan Nikolosovic with a beauty catch for a touchdown. That's a 14-yard passing play. St. James is on the board. They now trail 21-7. Still in the second, Nikolosovic doing it on both sides of the ball. He picks off this pass. The Lions taking over possession. They are down by 14 at the break. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder. This video is presented by Guelph Minor Football, a proud supporter of local District 10 high school football. Third quarter, the Lions going for it on third down, and it's another clutch play from Marco Piccioni. He comes in and makes the tackle. St. James turning it over on downs. Out comes the BM offense. The pass downfield is picked off. And oh my, Ty Cathcart has a clear lane to the end zone. We've got ourselves a pick six. What a play from Cathcart. The Lions are right back in it. It's 21-14 as we move to a crazy fourth quarter. The Lions driving, looking to tie it up. But there is Sam Shoniker. He's got an interception. Sammy S with a big play. It stays 21-14. Late stages of regulation, the Celtics with the ball. Watch number 25. Noah Dinell tips it to himself. And do you believe this? He runs it back to the three-yard line. Dynamite from Dinell. The Lions on the doorstep, and they punch it in on this play. P.J. Farah going up the middle, and he's got a touchdown. St. James is now trailing 21-20. They need the extra point to tie it up. And how wild is this? Antonio Latanzio breaking through, and he blocks the kick. He's jumping for joy. The extra point is no good. What a game and what a finish. Bishop Max celebrating as time expires. They improve to 3-0 this season after a thrilling victory. 21-20 is the final. Here's Antonio Latanzio after the game. Well, going into that play, Marco told me I had to block it. So I went out there and I did my best and I gave it 100% and I went full out and ended up blocking it. The emotion of that moment is what? Describe it to me. I felt so excited in that moment. I was just so hyped up. I knew I brought it all for my team and it was a great way to end the game. You could not write that finish. That's like, that's straight out the movie. Like, we came into this game and we needed to rise to the occasion because this is a defending D10 champs and we knew it was going to be our best game of this season. So on that last play there, I, I went in his ear, if you see it on the film, I went in his ear, I said, fire me up, I need something from you, Antonio. And he gave me something, he, and he, he, he solved that game right there. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.